dominating 4-1 win for Liverpool. It's 15th of the season, most in the Premier League. Uh, you could go a number of different ways here, Robbie, but uh, in this impressive outing, what impressed you the most? Everything. I mean, top class. Top class. I mean, wherever you want to look in that performance, top class. From goalkeeper to defence, from the midfield energy, from the pressing we talked about at half time, from the, the way that the front three players now are much more fluid when Mo Salah's not there. Loads of different movement, dominated in physicality, in organisation, in work ethic. It makes me switch on to Chelsea, Paul, which I don't, won't do right yet. That Liverpool are what. Chelsea would love to be. Chelsea have got some talent, some skillful players, but it's everything else. It's mentality, it's steel, it's mental strength, it's physicality, it's work ethic. Everything that Liverpool had, plus their talent, is the reason that looked like men against boys. Really, every side would want to look like Liverpool does mm. right now. Yeah, I think about also, like in the, in the stretch run, the second half of the season, what is it, the, the title's going to motivate them, but what is it that's going to give them that extra boost. Uh, look here, not one of that first 11 deserved to not start next week. But look at the bench. Gakpo, Elliott, Robertson, Ravenberg, Alexander-Arnold. They have another half of a team to rotate. Alexander-Arnold, can he, can he go from playing right back into midfield where everyone's talking about him going into midfield? Well, he can now because Connor Bradley's presumably making that right back spot his own if he wants it or if Klopp wants to do that. So, I mean, this is this is something for Liverpool fans if you're looking at, like, we had a real shot here because a, a lot of times when you're, when you're not named Manchester City, mm. you start to fade, you start to take injuries. They're going from strength to strength, and yeah. they look incredible. And so much focus, and understandably so, by all of us on the news on Friday with Jurgen Klopp announcing this would be his final season. And all of a sudden, the conversation went to, for the last few days, how would the team respond on the pitch? Would it be positive? Would it be negative? It's only a one-game sample size in the mm. Premier League, but they kind of put that to rest. Yeah, they did. I mean, th they've been improving. And that, that's what, you know, in some ways, you look at that, right? You look at the manager and you think, you're going to walk away from this? Like, <laughs> and I know he said he's not going to change his mind. That's been asked already. And it'll be asked even more times as we go on. But to produce this second team, if you like, that he's done now, and with the youth and with the excitement and with the way it's coming together, I mean, the ceiling of this team, I think I said a few weeks ago, I'm not sure how good Liverpool can be until everybody gets fit again and they have more time together. You're seeing it now. And it's just like, wow, Klopp's going to walk away from this. But, it's but, so unusual, but Tim. To, but it? to bring it back... To it, this is the point that I made to you off, off, off camera. Like, the, the enormity of this situation, of this decision, you see it. You see it in that because nobody, we, nobody as a manager builds a team that's this young and this powerful and goes, I'm going to walk away. Yeah. You, you made the point in, in the pregame. The great managers have walked away when they've just gone, I, There's I, nothing left. I can't rebuild another team right. here. Yeah, he's rebuilt a team. It's going to win stuff. Yeah. This, team, yeah. this season and next season and another season is going to win that stuff. That just shows you how, 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 how important the, the yeah. decision was. And, and surprising. And he must be <laughs> underneath still very tired and, and wanting a break. But, wow, that's, that's some team. And as we pointed out before this match started, still – January, barely, but there's still February, March, April, and May to go in the Premier League and also the three other competitions where they're still competing for a trophy. Going to be fun to keep track of Liverpool here coming up. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.